We've got a girl on the phone for today's second date named Cassidy. And she said in her email that they did a little social experiment oh. on their first date. Didn't say what it was, okay. but I've done a few myself. So, Cassidy, mm. I'm guessing you both went to dinner with no pants on to see if they'd still serve you. <laughs> no. I want to know, does it work? I mean, it really depends on what restaurants you hit up. No, because, it does not. Well, yeah, if they have one of those make-your-own <laughs> uh-huh. omelet stations, uh-huh. then you could probably get away with Porky Pig in it there. I see. I see what you're saying. They're pretty lax. Uh-huh. But, uh, oh. Cassidy, what are we talking about social experiment-wise here? Cassidy? Oh, hi, guys. How are you? Oh, oh, hi. You're doing a second date, remember? Maybe the social experiment she's doing is let's get on the radio and then net talk. See what happens. Sorry, I was texting somebody. Oh, oh my God. Really? Like we can't me. put our phone. I mean, I don't want you to put your phone down now, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, well, Concentrate, Cassidy. Clearly, this is a priority yeah. for you. So who's this guy that you want us to call while you text away? Oh okay. So this guy's name is Sam. Uh-huh. And he and I met on Twitter. I mean, uh, on Tinder. Okay. And I really liked him. He was like a really unique guy. He had like the perfect dad bod, which I'm very into. So he wasn't like, too muscular. But he wasn't too skinny. I like that. Stop uh-huh. it. Are you in your 20s? Why are you going for dad bods? You have the rest of your life to be hey! hooked up with a dad bod. Dad bods are important to society, bro. I'm Back just off. saying, man, your single year should be not spent on dad bods. You got the next 50 of them what? to do that. It sounds like you're too old and you're not taking advantage of the dad bods around here. <laughs> she you're makes right. a good point. Yeah, her oh husband is a runner. So yeah. this girl, don't uh, listen to her. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So dad bod Sam, that's his name? Yeah. All right. And what did you and Flabby do for your date? <laughs> so we went to go eat seafood. Okay. And everything was really going great. And that's when the social experiment came in. So wait, is this something you guys came up with together or? No, it was something that he came up with. Oh, Mm. what was it? So he looked at me and he goes, do you trust me? And I said, uh, yes. Uh, Why would you say that? You never say yes immediately to a guy that's just randomly like, do you trust me? Yeah, especially a guy you met on Tinder. I mean, I think the universe is telling you scream no. He has not given her a reason to not trust him, okay? Being on Tinder is enough reason not to trust someone. (laughs) All right, so you said yes. What did he want you to do? So I hand him my cell phone. He tells me I can turn it off. Okay. He calls over the waiter and he hands the waiter both of our cell phones and he says to him, don't give it back until we're done with dessert. This guy's crazy. What? No phones? Yeah, can't call for help now, little lady. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess I could see this being like a classy move. Like yeah. he wants to focus on just the two of them. Cheating aside. Have no distractions. Yeah. So as the waiter is walking away with our cell phones, I was freaking out. I was like, <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand. This is really strange. This is really weird. So I was just like trying not to be vocal about it. But yeah, it was a weird kind of thing to do. Yeah, she's breaking into cold sweats and her hands start to shake. Dude, I feel you. <laughs> you need your fix. I mean, how is anybody going to know what your dessert looks like if you can't take a picture of it? I mean, exactly. Even you don't answer during a date, to feel the buzz, just to know it's on you. Yeah. Is yeah. Like, people are with me on this date. Exactly. I'm not alone. <laughs> you sound so jaded over here. But he took the phone away. And so how did it go? Actually, after the phones were gone and we had no distractions, it ended up being really good. And we were focusing on each other. We were both listening and talking, and the whole thing was really sweet. That's crazy. Oh, that's awesome. That's so, yeah. I mean, did you end the date thinking, oh, my God, I'm never going to use my phone again? <laughs> I mean, listen, I would love to have my phone. <laughs> you know, it's like a part of me. But <laughs> it was really nice for, like, that hour that we were together that I didn't have, it, and we just got to be with each other. Okay. Right. That's great. So, besides that, did anything, like, weird happen? No. So afterwards, we had a really, really great time. There was a small kiss. Yeah. And I thought for sure I would get a text or a call. But here's the thing, though. He's not taking initiative, and he hasn't asked me out on a second date. So I'm honestly shocked. Like, I don't understand. So have you tried to ask him out at all? I mean, I've tried to, like, hint to him that I would be really interested in going on another date with him. Yeah. But he's not taking the bait. So what do you think it is that maybe turned him off? I don't know, and I really want to know because I actually really like him. Well, right. how long has it been? Because if he's not a big phone guy, obviously, maybe he literally isn't checking his phone. Maybe he's writing you letters in the mail and they just <laughs> haven't gotten there yet. Maybe a carrier pigeon is going to bring it to your doorstep. <laughs> no. I mean, it's been a while, and so he should have asked by now. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I think this one is actually weird. Like, for Mystery. someone to be interested enough to want to actually concentrate on you during the date, give you a kiss. Mm-hmm. And I didn't tell you guys, but he was... Super sweet and super cute during the dessert. Oh, How? Really? 
So he asked for a candle for the tiramisu, Mm -hmm. and I looked at him, and I was like, oh, it's not my birthday. It's not going to be my birthday for another six months. And he was like, well, we should celebrate your half birthday. And so the candle came out, and he was, like, singing happy half birthday to you. Oh, my God. That's really cute. I love it. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was really cute. And free Uh, dessert? I would celebrate quarter birthdays if we got free desserts out of it. I hope Dad Bod Sam turns out as good as you say he is. I like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, Sam apparently has already won over everybody in this room. Mm -hmm. So if he won't go out with you, maybe he'll go out with Jose. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. We're going to play a song, come back. We'll give him a call and see if we can get you a second date. All right, Cassidy? Cool. Thanks. Okay. Well, we've got a very special caller on the phone with us right now. What? One, two, three. Happy half birthday, dear Cassidy. Happy half birthday to you. Yay! Yay, Cassidy! Oh, Cassidy celebrated her half birthday recently when she went out to dinner with a guy named Sam. Because Sam asked the waiter to bring a candle to put in their tiramisu. And when Cassidy said, my birthday's not for six months, he's like, well, we'll just celebrate your half birthday. Yes. Well, how smooth, dude. dude. it's so cute. <laughs> and Cassidy, I'm going to say, thumbs up for you. Because I have been trying to get people to celebrate my half birthday for years. <laughs> and no one is on board. No one can count that high, though. So Shut it's up. really hard to celebrate her birthday. Half is hard. Always. <sighs> that was actually the funniest thing you guys said all morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> thanks, Cassidy. Thanks. High praise. Funny. Has anything else come to your mind that's gone wrong? Because so far, you have told us about the world's most perfect Tinder date ever. I'm telling you, he was sweet. He had the perfect dad bod. Everything was amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, let me squeeze those love handles, baby. Yeah, oh, Cassidy, true. maybe you didn't have the right amount of dad bod. Uh-oh. Did you ever think about that? Bomb maybe. 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 <laughs> Maybe she eat a little you know bit what? more tiramisu the next time before you go out on the date. That's a thing. Nobody finds mom bod sexy. Yeah, it's not a thing. Mom bod? Yo, I don't I think do. it's a thing. How dare you say that? I find yeah. all mom bods attractive, so. Yeah, even your own. Yeah. No, not like mom. No. I'm in single mom. Yeah. You're right. You're expecting. Right. You're single not. Mom. No, stop. Yeah, we're getting too weird. Let's just make the call to Sam. And Cassidy, we're going to try and get you your second date, all right? Cool. All right, here we go. Hello? Hi, can I talk to Sam, please? This is Sam. Who's this? And this is young Jeffrey. Work on the radio. Doing something called a second date. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so we're taking it you don't listen very often. That's okay. Uh, I think I heard of it. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to humor us. It's okay. Not everyone has. That was awesome, Sam. Right. I, this is actually probably pretty good news for you, I, I would think. A girl named Cassidy told us about you. She said that you guys went on a date and she had a great time. So you're calling me why? I mean, what's going on? I, I don't understand. Well, we're calling you because part of the second date is that we reach out to you and try and figure out the reason why you're not calling someone back after you go on a date with them. And Cassidy had a great time with you. And for some reason... You haven't asked her out again. So I'm assuming she talked to you guys about this. Yeah. Yep. She told us all about how sexy your dad bod is and <laughs> oh my God. about the little thing that you did with the tiramisu and the candles. So, but seriously, oh, yeah. applause. Good move with a half birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. On our end, the date seemed really good. So what's the reason that you're not calling her back? Well, I mean, after this first experience, I just can't really see myself with her, I guess you could say. I, I, I don't know. Just the type of girl that she is. Type of girl? Yeah, what does that mean? Well, I mean, just her personality. I just see some red flags. Okay. Can you be more specific? When we first met, I mean, you know, first impressions are everything. And my first impression of her was really, really good. It was, it was almost kind of too good. Oh, that's it. Red flag. Too good. That's usually the number one. What, is it? Yeah. It is. what does that mean that it's too yeah. good? How is something too good? Look, normal people, they don't make a, a really great first impression, okay? There's usually something off, something a little weird or awkward. Okay. And, and with her, everything was just perfect and really comfortable. Okay, Okay, Sam, we need to sit down because it sounds like you have been on Tinder too long and (laughs) what you expect on a first date has really changed because that is what you want. Yeah, man, Brooke's right. Like, what's really bothering you? Well, there's one thing about her. It's 
this listening thing. What listening thing? She's uh, she's a really good listener. <laughs> No, I, I don't know. What do you mean? This, this... I feel like you're not even hearing yourself right now, well, Sam. Well, hold on. Hear him out. When somebody's a really good listener, uh-huh. it, it just puts a lot of pressure on me to kind of talk well and to be interesting. Okay. I'm yeah. not used to being on a date with a girl that was so focused on me. Well, but wasn't that your whole plan? Because she told us about the like social experiment you did where you had the waiter take your phones yeah, but because you wanted to have the time for you two to concentrate on each yeah. other. And that's exactly what happened. So, yeah, your idea worked. Yeah. But now I mean, you're saying that you're upset that she was listening to you? She just seemed like way, way too good of a listener. And it just it rubbed me the wrong way. It really did. I, you know, Red I actually flag. do kind of see what he's saying mm-hmm. because she has been listening to this whole conversation. Mm-hmm. So basically, what? I'm too good of a listener, so you don't want to go on a date with me? See, she did hear it. <laughs> she's listening. Oh yeah, my she, God. she's All been right. on the other line listening was, to the conversation. Yeah. That was Cassidy. Oh, hi. Cassidy. Yeah, or like, are you serious? This is honestly the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. I've literally never heard a man complain about being too good of a listener. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, are you norm- do you normally listen that well? Is that, or... or- <laughs> What has happened in the dating world, you guys? Like, you, your red flag is all positives. Like, yeah. you realize that, Sam. I feel like this isn't really about listening or fun conversations. Like, what's the real issue? I think he's scared. Are you scared of commitment? Is that what it is? You're scared of liking no. someone? No. Are you in love with your mom? <laughs> no. <laughs> there, there's some deep-seated root to this behavior. I'm trying to figure it out. Listen, Cassidy. You were so focused on me and you were just so overly kind of attentive. It just makes me think that, well, she doesn't know how to behave without her phone. Are you kidding me right now? That's how you think? You are crazy. Yeah, this is this is pretty crazy talk. I think I know what no. he's trying to say. I don't. Yeah. It's like the same thing. I can never remember people's names. If someone can remember my name and met me once, I'm always like, how did you do that? So if a whole day goes flawlessly, I can kind of see why. It's like, how did that even happen? But how frustrating, Cassidy. Like, I would be so frustrated right now if I were you. Honestly, it just sounds like he wants another type of girl and not me. You think it's an excuse. You don't believe him. You think that he's just saying you're too perfect just to let you down easy? Totally, 100%. Mm-hmm. Listen, no, it, it isn't like that at all. I really, I would like to do this again. I just think that maybe I could throw out a couple of suggestions for you the next time we do go out, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure, Sam. Why don't you list them off? (laughs) I hope you're listening. I told you before that you made a really good first impression. How about this second time around? Maybe don't do that. What? (laughs) What do you want her to do? Like, show up late? No, maybe not be so engaging. I want her to have more awkward pauses. (laughs) Yeah, stumble over your words. Make him feel more comfortable like he's not intimidated by this perfect woman. I can't believe this is happening right now. (laughs) Oh, Cassidy, people talk a lot about themselves, okay? And I don't want that, but I want someone that kind of talks about themselves, you know, a decent amount. To the point where I have to kind of fight to get a word in, you know? What? (laughs) That makes me listen. (laughs) Cassidy, okay, wait, hold on. I... Is is what you're trying to say, Sam, you just want her to be more vulnerable with you and more herself? I just don't want somebody that makes that good of a first impression. Mm-hmm. I want somebody that doesn't listen that great. Uh-huh. And, I mean, even if you want to be kind of clingy towards me, uh-huh. I'm totally cool with it. <laughs> oh, my kind God. Not uh-huh. so... Yeah, just drop the Y, just the cling. Yeah, you just want yeah. a, little, a little cling. Uh-huh. From your ladies. Are you good with that, Cassidy? No. No, hold on, Cassidy. Slow down. I thought you were a good listener. Let, let me ask. Would you like to go out on another date with Sam? We will pay for it. Come on, Cassidy. It, honestly, think about it. It might be kind of fun to just go and try to have the worst date you possibly can. Really bomb. I mean, just try to mess it up bad. Yeah, forget his name. Like... It'd just be a fun night. Cassidy, really, listen to them. Listen to what they're saying. I know you're a good listener. And if you just go by a couple of the suggestions that I made, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be not too good, but it's going to be good. <laughs> We don't want it to be great. (laughs) So? What do you say, Cassidy? Do you want to be his imperfect woman? 
he doesn't deserve me. He needs to be with someone who's got all of these things that he wants because he's a crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> he needs issues. Well, he just needs a little less self-confidence, Cassie. Actually, look, that wouldn't be that bad because she did come off very self-confident. Oh, oh. my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Okay. <laughs> yeah. You lost me Yeah, now, that's dude. an instant turn off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, congrats, Cassidy. Well, yeah, I mean, congrats, yeah. but sorry we couldn't get you a second date. Yeah. At least we got to the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for trying, you guys. Oh, it's, all right. So did she say yes? I wasn't listening. <laughs> she said no. Oh, she said no. Yeah, no. Yeah.